Hey, what's going on, folks? Build It With Smith here playing uh, Pocket City, which is another mobile game, city building game. And uh, this one is something neat about it I want to just bring right to the forefront. As you can tell, I'm able to play this game in uh, Portrait. And you can also turn it around if I hit this little button in the top right hand corner and play it uh, landscape. But let's just do this because it's different. And we're going to play this game. Um, pocket at City, we're gonna play it portrait today. So let's go in and see what they got. All right, so we are playing uh, in the tutorial here and we have Anna. Hello there and welcome. You must be our new mayor. I've heard so much about you. It's great to finally meet you. We need your help to grow our small city into a booming metropolis. I can't wait to see what you can do. Let's get started. First, let's try to move around to get a look at the land. Okay, so we're looking around. Uh, looks like some other areas that we can buy. There's some treasure chests there. Good, as you can see, our city has a town hall and not much else. First, act as mayor. Why don't we build a longer road? All right, so let's do that. Now, where do we want to go with our road? I'd say instead of building out this way more, let's just build a road that kind of oh do they want okay well they're okay this is going to be a guided thing so they're going to kind of uh, force me to build all right great we need to provide housing for our citizens let's build a residential zone I suppose they're gonna tell me where they want me to build this residential zone here we go residential zone is going right there by the city town hall which is not to, do they have town halls right next to residential zones I mean, I know they're close, but like not right next door normally. All right, perfect. Our citizens will also need jobs to make a living. We can provide jobs with an industrial zone. Of course you can, Anna. So let's go here, back to our zones, industrial zone. And they're going to tell us where to put that. But this is also telling us the ratio here. Uh, the ratio looks like it's 5 to 3. Or was that four? Four to three. Four to three. All right. Perfect. I can smell the factories already. We will need more cash if you want to grow. Let's build a commercial zone to increase our cash flow. All right. There we go. And so it's going to be four to three to three. That's what it looks like the ratio is. I'm pretty sure. Right? Yeah, that's about right. Four to three to three is the ratio of residential, industrial, and uh, commercial. All right, Let's see what she says. The local business will increase our outcome through taxes. Now, this next part is important. We need to supply power and water to build uh, to the building our zones, whatever she said. A power plant will power all nearby buildings along the road. However, it will overload if too many power, uh, to, if it powers too many buildings on its own. Okay, so let's get our power plant. We'll go with the cheapest one and we'll drop it right here and we see what it's all powering. Anything along that road. So that's good. There we go. And we got our 30 XP points. Okay, so there's our power plant. Perfect, now we need water supply. Water towers provide water to buildings along our road. However, they don't, they don't pump very far. So let's put our water tower where, oh, okay, so we click on water, we have a couple of categories there. We'll put our water tower there, and it's the same thing, it's pumping water all along the road. Okay, so are we making money? We're making we're making dollars there. 16,514. Excellent. Now we're now all the zones are ready to work. Follow the demand chart to see which zones should be next to build or should be built. I'm like saying my own words here. I'm inserting word where there's not and everything. Okay. You will unlock new buildings when your city level increases. Gain XP by building zones and completing quests. I've started you off with a simple quest. Take a look. Let's have a look-see. New quest down here. There's no place like home. Tap to learn more. Hi there. Hey, Mayor. 
Our town has caught the attention of citizens from other cities. People want to move in, but we have no more houses left. Let's make sure we have eight residential zones so that we can have homes for our new citizens to move into. Okay, so we've got to build some more zones. I think we will just build more zones now. Oops, right on the other side. Here they go. And that should be that. And oh, so people are liking it. Uh, I'd like to move into the city, all this sort of stuff. So we've completed a quest, click done, and what do we get? Great job, Mayor. Now we can accommodate more citizens in our city. And I got a thousand XP. You know, one thing I'll say, I love the bright colors in the game. They're kind of, they're, they're, they're not quite pale. Um, they're, they're soft, I should say. But then this yellow is really popping out. Okay, now I've leveled up here. This is an interesting content. I've leveled up to two and, oh yes, now I have, oh okay, I've got a small park. And I've got a movie theater. So that's pretty neat, a movie theater. All right, I've got more quests here. Um, let's tap Anna here. Uh, hey, Mayor, we need some cash to grow our zone. We earn income through commercial zones. Let's reach an income of 100 per second. Citizens spend their money when they are happy, and commercial de uh, demand will go up and up. So how do I know? Okay, I suggest building more zones. Look at the demand chart to see which zone to build. Also check the stats to make sure our citizens are happy. You've got this. Okay, so what did she say? Go to the, was it the stats? Okay, so we're making 74 per second. Um, I forgot what she said to do already. Oh, go here, up here to the zone demand. So there's a big demand for commercial and residential. So let's, let's get more, put three more keeping in line, you know, with the, with it there, put three right there. Oh wait, did I build? Oh crap, I built more I built more houses. Alright. I hate to do this. I just messed up. Guys, why didn't you stop me? Alright, so that's you're just wasting money there. Oh, I hate it. Okay, let's build commercial zones now. Here we go. Commercial zones. There we are. And we got some XP. Did we increase our stats? Not quite. Maybe they need to finish building them. Okay, we did that. All right, you reached an income at 100 per second. Don't you think you deserve a bonus? Keep up the great work, Mayor. Yes. All right, there's a thousand more for that. Do I level up? No. Walk in the park. Earn a thousand dollars from that. I'm Peter, keeper of our common grounds, guardian of the forest that enfolds us, defender of the park that enrich our spirits. Let's build our community's first small park, provide recreation, and make our city more attractive. Good for the environment, too. Any friend of the earth is a friend of mine. I hope to see the park soon. You got it, buddy. Where do we go to build that park? Um, that's probably under leisure, you think? There it is, a small park, and we have a space for it right there. They are going to be happy with this. All right, so let's take a look, see now at our small, our small town. We created, uh, we've uh, completed a quest. Your new park thrives, Mayor. Smell the fresh grass. Listen to the birds chirping, truly sublime. All right, there's our 1,000. And okay, so they're just gonna keep hitting us with quests. I don't know if we should keep doing these or if we Hi should. There veer from them or not I don't know hey mayor now that we have a small town let's try to attract 400 citizens and how many do we have now citizens will move in if happiness are high and if homes are available make sure citizens are satisfied keep building zones and watch our beautiful city grow all right Anna you got it all right so let's see I guess then which way should we go I kind of feel like 
we should we'll keep we'll keep building the road down this way just kind of keeping it simple and we'll see where that gets us adding another oops nope 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 almost messed up there residential all right so there we go so they said 400 people let's see what is in demand here in demand is now we need a little bit more commercial they're saying so the other thing is um can i not move these can i move these things i should have probably moved them that's what i should have done um all right well we got a little commercial zone there i would like to put a road right through here but i guess i guess our i guess we'll move down this way with our houses and everything and uh let's look at our layout that way we'll know where to put the commercial so i feel like we need to maybe turn a corner here a little bit um let's see do that okay we can level up and we'll do that in a second um yeah something like that all right so there's that and now let's put our commercial buildings there we're going to add three commercial buildings actually we'll add them on this side here we'll add our three commercial buildings that is the demand that they're looking for keeping in line with the ratio Let's level up. See if we got some new. Oh, we got five thousand dollars. I guess those are dollars. What do they call those? Cash? What do they call this? Oh, I can't. I can't. I'm trying to tap. I can't tap on the little dollar sign. Okay, so there's that. And now industrial is going up. So uh, with that, let's see if we can't increase a little bit. We'll kind of turn our road here and we'll add three more buildings for the industrial zone so it's a it's a slow growth with the city which we're okay with we don't want to move too quickly I do think that we need to get some more folks in the houses now it says we need more houses so let's Go ahead and do that. Go back to our residential. Put some more houses in there. See where that gets us. And we'll probably just add some more. Oh, our power plant is almost loaded up. So we need to think about that. Let's go back to our power plant here. And does that mean that we need to put a new power plant or can we upgrade? Um, I guess when we get, how many buildings do we have? Do we know how many buildings we have? Is there maybe under our stats we can see? Okay, let's see. Um, population. Okay, so the happiness. Ooh, this 40%. So it looks like looks like they're going to need uh, uh, some help with the recreation and the traffic congestion. So with that, I think we should be able, as uh, mayors here, to add something. So we go to leisure and uh all we have let's see fun so is that going to help increase was it what did they call it there they is this this recreation so do i need to then is there a recreation category that i need to go to or does all of this stuff count because i'd like to put the movie theater if i could just because that's something new and i think this would be a good place to put it Let's see. Could also put it right there. Could put it right here. Let's do that. All right, so did that. That gave us some XP. And what else? Oh, somebody says they're looking forward to the new block party. Who's saying that? You party animal. All right, so look at the little people here. They really are enjoying that. Look at the little girl swinging. The guy there reading the newspaper. All right, so everything seems to be going well. Um, we have almost 
blown our power plant. They want more houses now. And I know how I'm going to grant that to them. Simply by um, doing something like this. And we'll get one big apartment in there this time. So that'll be neat. And is that going to count as one building or multiple? It's going to count as one building. So that's interesting. All right. So uh, what's happening now? Now they want more commercial. You can never make these guys happy. All right. Let's um, put more commercial over here like that, like so. And there we go. We're increasing. We're getting pretty close to this river here. And let's just take a look, zoom out here. We've got a very, a very... Uh, kind of plain Jane city and this person keeps looking forward to the to the block party people keep I don't I didn't even know there was a block party but apparently we had one at some point well we got our commercial zone here um, a cinema travel center I like how they have different custom buildings that all just kind of uh, fall in place and load in there so it looks like they want more commercial actually and I think that we should increase our road up to right there so we can put some more commercial. I would have thought that we added enough commercial, but you see the last time. All right, so let's let's just add one more commercial building here. See if that that does something. I'm trying to keep the ratio the same of houses to try to balance it. And meanwhile, we've we're going up to 295 on the all right so let's see they still want more commercial all right we'll give them more commercial there's that and now where are we gonna go is what I'm wondering so we could have let's see let's just kind of see here we could have We could have our road kind of do that. We'll stop it actually right here. And now, since they want more commercial, let's give them more commercial. Let's give them a lot of commercial. And that may actually be too much, but let's just see, give them what they want. All right, so now we're building lots of houses. Let's see what happens. Um, we'll probably need to double back and build more houses at that point but i'm just interested in seeing uh some of the animations here oh we got a whole shopping center guys now this is pretty neat this is the neat part of the game and so now i guess folks need it need places to work so with that let's try to bring the roads back in and let's see what a large industrial site looks like now let's look at that they're the construction guys, there are the crews, the material there, all staged, and here we go. So we've got a factory, folks. All right, well, it looks, it looks like, number one, we're getting pretty close to 400 um, citizens, and I'm repping, wrecking, repping, let's, let's see here, let's do that. This should get us... This should get us to our goal of 400 citizens. That was the quest that Anna is saying, 400 citizens. We'll get our $2,000. This should get us pretty close. Not quite. Um, why is the 50K red? Oh, is okay. All right, so we did it. All right, there we go. We've reached 400 citizens. Woohoo! Quest completed. There's our 2K and great way to go okay so uh let's let's just um reflect on what we've done today we've kind of started the city so one thing i'll say about this game and, and let me just tell you that i have played this game uh before when it came out i downloaded it and just never did a i don't know why but i never did a a a, a review of it i guess you can say this is a review but um I, so i like the 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 colors of the game 
you know these are these are they really pick these colors very nicely they give you a calm an over calming effect I like the yellows in particular and how they contrast with everything now this is a game that is not going to be uh, in it for the long haul I can see like with SimCity build it now there's lots of elements in there when you get into the quest and even more when you get into the events and there's levels and different things like that but I mean I could sit here with this game for a couple of hours and probably build out this whole map um, and I know a lot of you guys that play the city building games can too so uh, the only thing I would say is maybe between the pros and cons, and that call more of a, a con, is that um, you can you can ramp up, you know, you can ramp up pretty quickly in this game. Whereas I like something more in between this game and SimCity Build It, where I'm not you know playing the game for eight years and still haven't built out the whole thing. Versus here, I play it for eight hours and I I feel like I would have built out this whole map. And that seems like it could be pretty repetitive. Again, I don't know. You know, maybe there's different things that they're bringing in, different elements and stuff like that that will give it uh, a better effect. But you guys let me know in the comments. If you like this game, if I get, you know, I don't know, a certain number of likes, like 100 likes or something like that, I will make another uh, follow-up video for this. Um, I think it's cool that it's vertical. I don't know if you guys are watching on your iPads or Androids or whatever phones. Um, you're, you're able to see this, you should be able to see this full screen uh, portrait mode, which would be something interesting. But anyway, this has been Build It With Smith, another city building game. We like city building games. We love uh, SimCity Build It, but uh, we want to, you know, show you guys some other city building games. So hopefully you're feeling that. Hopefully you'll be back. If you're new, hopefully you'll subscribe. And this has been Smith. Catch you guys later. Peace out.